I walked into a moon of gold last night. Across grey sands she seemed to shine so bright. Wide, wide the sands until I met the sea. Cradle of moons, yet searchlights followed me. I asked the moon if creeping round the zones she had seen good or only poor things' bones. Pale faces I have seen, unconscious men bereft of struggling horror now and then, and sinking ships I see and floating mines, and cries I hear, O oh God, and choking whines. But later, when the stars shine on the wave and give more light, I know the dead die brave, passing so quickly from the things that count, count to all mortal thoughts to find the fount where angels pour elixir into bowls, drink not for broken hearts, but thirsty souls. And what on shore, I asked, the great divide, where rivers run in trenches side by side. There, the moon said, the snow was on the ground, and the frost pinched me as I beamed around. Red pools of gore and ghastly shadows lay in deep dug corners, so I sank away. Let misty cloudlets sweep across my face to hide the earth and give me heart of grace. Sudden, the air seemed filled with eager breath of great adventurers released from death and shaking blood from out their eyes and hair, shouting for further knowledge here and there. I lighted these across the treacherous path to reach the garden of life's aftermath. And as they sped in troops, the great guns boomed while flashes lightning swift and dark hordes loomed, and phantom shapes of patient warrior bands. Then more snow fell and shrouded all the lands. Now pondering from the moon I turned again, over the sands, back to our house of pain.